Everyone uses the concept of bad conscience, but do we know what we're talking about? I am Rodrigo Gim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. What do you mean by bad conscience? Please comment below so I can enter into a conversation with you. If you believe that thinking is fundamental in your life and you think you can discuss thought, subscribe to this channel because that is our task here. The dominant Western culture is the culture of the internalized selves. It is in interiority, in the, in the soul, that the dominant culture seeks the truth of beings. Christianity has reinforced this interiority of being as a place of truth, of the essence of being. Becoming a subject came to mean giving way to inner truth. However, as Nietzsche shows, this was due to the domestication of instincts that the human being carries. To tell the truth about oneself, the subject must choose between several instincts those he wants to show and those he doesn't want to show, wants to get away with, because the dominant society does not accept every instinct. The human being, who for many millennia lived in forests, woods, in warring villages, where being a warrior and killing humans and animals in war and in hunting was normal, suddenly, relatively recently, historically, found himself in other living conditions and in other cultural conditions where killing, war, fighting, among other actions that were daily accepted are no longer accepted. What Nietzsche says is that instincts still persist even when situations are changing. Nietzsche says, quote, all instincts that do not discharge outward turn inward this is what I call the interiorization of man. This is how in man grows what is later called his soul. The whole inner world, originally slender as between two membranes, was expanded and extended, acquiring depth, width and height as man was inhibited in its outward discharge. Nietzsche in the genealogy of morals. Nietzsche points here to a certain history of subjectivity. Subjectivity as we know it was historically produced, weighing upon it the construction of an inner space, an interiority of being that was not there before, because before human beings could express their instincts freely. Now being impeded by society, the state and by religion and by culture but of doing so, this creates an interiority that did not exist before. Says Nietzsche, quote, This repressed instinct of freedom, retreated, imprisoned within, finally capable of venting only on itself, this, this alone was in its beginnings a bad conscience. Nietzsche, genealogy of morals. Bad conscience, then, for Nietzsche, begins with the internalization of impulses, instincts that can no longer be exerted outward. But there are other processes that happen too and that act precisely for this internalization, shaping it. One of these processes is the moralization of the subject and of the world around him where everything comes to be seen as moral and the subject must find within himself these moral standards. What was once considered natural or not even named precisely because it was natural is now labeled, diagnosed in moral standards. Morality is the creation of a right and wrong that are universal and that weigh on the subject of bad conscience who will slander his instincts, seek the self-policing of the forces that cross him. And in that slandering of instincts, he feels guilty, he feels inferior because he carries instincts. A slander against nature, according to himself, is what carries 
the subject of bad conscience. Says Nietzsche, citation, For too long, man has regarded his natural propensities with bad eyes, so much so that they have become twinned with bad conscience. A reverse attempt is itself possible, but who is strong enough for that? Nietzsche in the Genealogy of Morals. The question of bad conscience is harder to resolve because we live in a culture of resentment. The resentful one blames the world, the other, life itself, for his suffering and wants another world to put in its place. He is the slanderer of the world par excellence and always seeks enemies or has life itself as the enemy to blame. In this way, resentment and bad conscience meet in the pursuit of guilt, of the guilty. The resentful one blames another, while the subject of bad conscience blames himself. They are two poles that work together. What do they work for? In favor of churches, the capital, the state, no doubt. For the resentful and the bad conscience subjects are beings who have their energy captured. They cannot use their energy for themselves or for life for it to use it for to produce differences. Resentful people and bad conscience subjects are useful for, to the dominant systems because these systems live by selling small pleasures, moments that connect these subjects with their impulses, but only for these systems to use this energy that the resentful and the bad conscience subjects have for the systems to propagate themselves. Bad conscience is so strong in the world today that people feel they need to be part of a herd uh, for their lives to make sense. People feel that they are wrong when they rest from work because bad conscience has been instituted in such a way that they cannot rest, cannot stop working and be part, they have to be part of the social machine at all times. Bad conscience is the production of subjects subjected to the dominant power schemes. It is a way of making these subjects believe that they are in charge of themselves because they are self-policing, when in fact they are subjected and they are not at all free. Well now, people, I need you to comment and ask questions on YouTube or Facebook so I can enter it into a conversation with you. This is an immersion in Nietzsche and Foucault. It's a conversation via videos where the questions brought by you I bring to the debate and I bring more questions. See you next Thursday.